Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhur and welcome back to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we will learn how to add or remove logs from an Azure resource. Users can only add or remove logs from resources when they have permission to manage. As an administrator, we can lock an Azure subscription, resource group or resource to protect them from accidental user deletion and modifications. The lock overrides any user permissions. There are two types of locks, delete lock and read only lock. Delete locks prevent the deletion of a resource. A delete lock only prevents deletion of a resource and does not impede the modification of a resource. Read only locks prevent users from modifying a resource which includes updating or deleting a resource. Note that both types of resource locks allow authorized users to read resources. Resource locks apply across all users and roles, even custom and privileged roles. Resource locks, regardless of type, can be applied to the subscription, resource group and resource scopes. When we apply a lock to a scope, the resources within that scope inherit the lock. This means that a lock applied to the resource group applies to all the resources in the resource group. Resource locks apply to all service instance and resources within a scope. Lock inheritance also applies to the child resources of the scope that you are configuring the lock on. For example, a lock on a resource group applies to all resources in the group. Let's look at the steps to create and manage resource locks in the Azure portal. Log into the Azure portal with your Azure account. Under Azure service, click on resource group. In this example, we will configure resource lock for resource group named YTRG01. Click on YTRG01 resource group. Expand settings and click on locks. In order to create a new lock, click on add button. Give the lock a name and description. Enter a lock name lock YTRG01. We can also add a note to explain why we have locked this resource group. Next, choose the lock type, either read only or delete. In this example, we will select delete. Click OK to apply the lock on our resource group. Now, we have successfully created a resource lock on the YTRG01 resource group of type delete. This means that users will not be able to delete this resource group or any of the resources it contains. Let's attempt to delete the resource group. Click on Overview. For this example, I have created one virtual network with the name YTVNet01 and I have stored this virtual network under this resource group. At the top bar, click on Delete Resource Group. Type the name of resource group to confirm deletion. It also shows that dependent resources to be deleted and it is a virtual network. Click on Delete. On confirmation pop-up window, again click on delete button. It will give us an error and the operation will fail. This is because of the resource lock. It says that resource group is locked and can't be deleted. As we can see, the resource lock is an effective way to secure resources and prevent them from being deleted. Now, let's see how we can manage resource locks in Azure. Under settings, click on locks. For example, let's edit our existing lock to change the lock type from delete to read only. Click on edit icon. From the drop down, choose the read only lock type. We will also update the description. Now click OK to save the changes. The lock type is now successfully changed to read only. Confirm this under lock type. From here, you can delete the existing resource lock. But before that, let's check the lock inheritance. Click on Overview. Under this resource group, I have created one virtual network with the name YTVNet01. Click on this virtual network. Expand settings and click on Locks. We can see the lock inheritance to this virtual network. We can see the warning message that parent resource locks can't be edited here. And that's why edit and delete options are not available. So suppose if you want to delete existing resource lock, you have to go to the parent scope. Click on YTRG01. Under settings, click on locks. To delete the resource lock, click on this delete button. 
On confirmation pop-up, click delete. Perfect. The resource log has been successfully deleted. Let's go back to virtual network. Click on refresh. We can confirm that we don't have read-only resource log anymore. We can also configure a resource log at the specific resource level using the same steps. If a delete log is applied to one of the resources in the resource group and you attempt to delete that resource group, it will fail. When you try to delete the resource group, the operation tries to delete all the underlying resources first and won't be able to delete the resource with a delete log, hence the resource group deletion would also fail. And that's the case that why we are not able to delete YTRC01 resource group. That's all for this video on how to configure Microsoft Azure resource log. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.